Hello, and welcome to the Loveology Podcast, where we talk about love and life with laughter. I'm Ashley. And I'm Jason. He's the carefree one. She's the serious one. And, and we're, we're married. married. We have been since 2012, and we like to think of ourselves as a couple of loveologists. Not because we are the experts, but because we just love love. We enjoy studying and talking about it, so we thought, let's just start a podcast. A place where we can share what we have learned about love, relationships, and marriage. You can share what you've learned, and we can all grow together. So here we are. Are you ready? Let's get started. What it is, what it is do how are you doing love i'm good how are you you seem like you're uh, really good <laughs> why are you laughing so hard good lord you looking at me <laughs> yeah you all excited you looking yeah, good i'm super excited because we have some special guests we got some special guests what are you talking about love yeah. we're gonna have some extra fun today mm-hmm. who we have on the show double today, the love? trouble <laughs> double the trouble yeah all right so <laughs> We do have a treat today, everyone. I hope y'all are ready. These are some of my favorite episodes. We have special guests on the show. So I guess we're started off. We have Adam here. Adam, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Adam and uh, I have my lovely wife here, Maya, with me. Yes. And we're happy to be here. I would like to say you have a lovely voice, Adam. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> 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 Maya, 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 how you doing? I'm good. <laughs> Hello, podcast land. I'm Thank Adam's you. wife, Maya. Mm-hmm. Happy to be here. Happy to be here with you all. Awesome sauce. We got y'all on the show. We want to hear all about you and Adam and how everything gels and all that good stuff on Love Algae Podcast. That's right. That's right. So yep. what's the title of the episode, Love? I don't know what the exact title is, but... <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to be talking about interracial love. Interracial love. Mm-hmm. You know, I had I dated a few uh, uh, women. Well, we're not talking about you quite yet. Not yet. <laughs> no. oh, okay. 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 I was just wanted, I wanted to share my experiences on interracial love. Okay, so but it wasn't you, but, love at the time. But, but it was interracial, interracial dating. Fun. Interracial fun. Yeah, interracial fun. Well, we want to hear all about that. Okay. When your time comes. When my time comes. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get. <laughs> so let's talk to Maya and Adam. How about that? Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> so first, we would like to know, um, just tell us what your race is, since people can't see us. <laughs> well, I'm black. <laughs> well, we know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm black as well. <laughs> hey, hey. How you doing? <laughs> Adam. I'm Korean. Korean. What's up? What's up, my guy? so how long have you two been married uh we've been married since august 11th of 2018 so a little more than a year and we actually me and ashley had a chance to go to the wedding which was beautiful very lovely i Mm -hmm. love the church and the architecture (laughs) it was awesome and Mm -hmm. the wedding was legit man it was probably one of my favorite weddings i've ever been to to be honest yeah Mm. Yeah. awesome Mm -hmm. yeah Hey, we did a good job. Eh? <laughs> I almost started crying, actually. I was like, ooh. <laughs> I almost started crying. Well, Ashley cries a lot. Well, I was things. pregnant, too, so that, yeah. that maybe has something to do with it, too. <laughs> she, 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 we was watching, I don't know, we was watching some show with T.I. and Cardi B, and it was like a rap show last <laughs> night. And she started to cry on that because I guess one of the dudes got cut or something. No, it wasn't that. It was a young woman whose mother died from cancer and she was speaking to her mother, like mm. the, her mother's ashes or something. Okay. And she's, you know, trying to become this this rapper and she made it to the next stage of the competition. And then the grandmother came in there and she was crying and I started crying. Okay. Mm-hmm. So like real tears. <laughs> <laughs> Not thug tears, just real. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyway, so where did you all meet? Oh, man. So, we met. Well, it's kind of a long story, but I'll try to keep it short. <laughs> uh, we got so, time. Yeah. <laughs> so, we actually met uh, at an old church that we used to go to. Uh, I played drums in the worship team. Mm-hmm. Maya was uh, part of the choir. Mm-hmm. We didn't speak uh, for like five, four or five years. Wow. Since we were, mm-hmm. Yeah. You played drums and she was in the choir mm-hmm. yeah. and you didn't speak. No. Didn't talk. 
Okay. Wow. <laughs> I would come in in the mornings and greet everybody, say hello, and nothing. No response. Oh. <laughs> what was so, up with that? What was up with that, Adam? You just, you just like, man, I'm, I'm, yeah. she gonna, I'm waiting on her to come on to me. Or <laughs> I think the musicians and the vocalists just had this kind of weird division between the two of us. Oh. oh. So, and you uh, had a girlfriend at the time. And I yeah, I know yeah. when I first started going to that church, I had a long distance boyfriend. But beyond that, I mean, we just didn't, wow. didn't talk to each other. Oh. Like, yeah. That's okay. what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Playing a little hard to get. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> well, well, like Adam said before, he played drums and I was one of the singers. So... We actually had to work together at some point mm-hmm, for mm-hmm, yeah. um, mid. It was like midweek Bible study, like midweek service that they had at the church, mm-hmm. and they put me in charge of kind of helping lead that. So we were kind of forced to interact with each other, and mm-hmm. we had yeah. to talk to yeah. each other about, oh, which songs are we going to do, and that sort of thing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, me and Ashley, we met in. <laughs> we met. We knew. It was just we knew just knew other. of each other. Yeah. I I swear, me and Jason didn't talk to each other during high school at all. We went to the same high school. Jason is two years older than me, so yeah, I was uh, very popular. I didn't talk to, them. and I was a lame. I was a nerdy, <laughs> she lame, wasn't a lame, sweet girl. <laughs> she was just so quiet. Yes, yeah, very quiet, very studious, studious, and um, yeah, we didn't talk. At to, to each other at all i don't think yeah so, we did she, you know. no i don't remember ever having one conversation with you ever yeah, well <laughs> <laughs> whatever <laughs> moving right along yeah <laughs> so do you remember like when like the moment was that you kind of start to like see yeah. each other differently or oh oh yeah. i think yeah. i might like her <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah so uh like maya said we were working midweek and uh this was for about like a month or two, I would say, right? And uh, it's just one of those things, just just like something just hit me in my heart and uh, ask Maya out. Mm. So that's yeah. how it happened. Yeah. yeah, It wasn't any kind of warm up or. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just kind of, you know, felt it upon my heart. And so Maya, weird. Maya, how did that, how did that come to you? Like when he just said, just out of nowhere, <laughs> hey Maya, what's, you want to go out? You want to hang? <laughs> What? Well, it wasn't completely out of nowhere, like mm. like we were mentioning. We were starting to get to know each other a little bit. So you kind of rubbed like your a, hand a little bit? No, <laughs> nothing <laughs> like that. It was more of a friend level, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. We were with each other every week, and so we just started to kind of get to know each other. Right. And so when he did kind of ask me out, I was like, <laughs> I was a little surprised, but not really. Yeah. Because... Yeah. I just wasn't sure if he saw me that way because we were friends. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay. I guess he thought, thinks I'm cute. <laughs> Did you kind of like, mm, like if he would ask me out, I probably would go on a date. Did you have that type of mindset before he asked you out? Did you find him attractive? Did you, what, what what was your thoughts about Adam before <laughs> he, he asked you? I wasn't really looking at him like that. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I wasn't really looking for anybody at that time. Yeah, yeah. I think I was just kind of focused on life and mm-hmm. focus on you. Focused on me, right, right, right. work, whatever I was working on at the time. And I just wasn't in that headspace. Right, so right, I wasn't right. dating anybody. So I wasn't really looking. That's for how anybody. Ashley was. <laughs> yeah. Ba- baby, you wasn't looking, yeah. right? I got a whole tour. No, I was not looking. And Jason just like inboxed me on Facebook out of the blue. I'm like, you know, what is this I, guy I had to want? lay it down. I had to lay it down kind of thick. <laughs> you know, like, what could he possibly want? When you lay it down thick. It's kind of hard to, you know, <laughs> you gotta accept it. You know. So had you ever? Was so was there any surprise, um, being that he wasn't a black man, or was there any reservations for either of you? For me, a little bit. Mm-hmm. I had never dated outside of my race. I had always dated black guys. That was just kind of my thing. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't so much that I was against it. I just hadn't had that experience. Right. I think for you, Adam, a little different, though. Well, yeah. (laughs) I mean, I've dated so many different different women that were of different races. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. I I was uh, a previous girlfriend. She was from South Africa. And, you know... uh, I grew up in a kind of a multicultural household, mm-hmm. so I I had a probably a 
for sure a broader view of um, just dating in general. Right. Just so, dating. Yeah. So that don't kind of seem like me a little bit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, Jason. Jason's ready to talk about himself. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> well, Adam, you know, Adam, you know, he, he got a little swag. You know, he can hit you with some South African game, <laughs> some, you know what I'm saying, European game, go over here to Korea. What's yeah. up? You okay, know? so Jason. What's up? Have you ever dated someone outside of your age? Sure have. Okay, let's talk about that. Oh man, which one? What kind? Like, what kind of women have you dated before me? Well, uh, again, you know, <laughs> if y'all seen some of the Facebook pictures, uh, you know, I'm kind of very attractive, and it is translates in all cultures, right? <laughs> so uh, we talking about uh, England. You know, I'm proper military, prior military too. So I've been around. So you know, England. You know, white, obviously, mm-hmm. uh, Hispanic. Mm-hmm. Uh, at one point, you know, I was really digging, you know, Puerto Ricans until I went to Puerto Rico and it's like, eh, it's a little different, you know, <laughs> but <clears throat> uh, African for sure. They crazy about me. I remember one African literally. But that's our race though. Well, it, it is, but it isn't. You know what I'm saying? It's a different culture. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So um, I was in Atlanta and uh, she kidnapped me mm-hmm. and, and took me out to this nice restaurant. Yeah, man, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, yeah literally kidnapped me and um man we went back to our house uh it was some other kenyans and stuff and man we was drinking having a good time and she was like boy if you come back to my country you wouldn't have to do anything you just play your video game and that's it and so i was oh why you didn't marry her because she sound like that's what you needed it <laughs> well, you know like a challenge just too easy you know saying no he cannot just play video games with me yeah, yeah it's been too easy so yeah I, i've I'm, I'm 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 multicultured on on uh the Mac down. So mm-hmm. what about you, love? Uh, no, I have not had that experience of dating um, outside of my race. Um, I have had white men to, you know, approach me. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just never the right time. Mm-hmm. Now, one white guy said something that he thought was flattering, but it wasn't. <laughs> Mm. So he, what was it? He said, "Hey, you're not like other black girls." I said, "Oh, mm. how so?" He was like, "Oh, you're like really nice." <laughs> I said, "Uh, <laughs> that's actually not a compliment. There's plenty of black nice women. I don't really know what you mean by that." Oh well, you know, it just seemed like they have a lot of attitude, and you're just like really nice. I'm like, no, no. You just haven't been around <laughs> enough black people. You had to hit, hit them with the <laughs> <laughs> no, buddy. You dropped the ball. Move on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I have not been opposed to that. I've definitely been attracted to, you know, it just was never the right time, mm-hmm. right? Um, but it's another interesting thing was that I also have had people just assume like that I'm married to a white man. Mm-hmm. I don't really know, understand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to my like right now. <laughs> when I was in the Navy, mm-hmm. a, a couple of people asked me, it's like, are you married? Are you, well, what's, what race is your husband? He's black. Why? <laughs> I, it just seemed like you'd be married to a white man. What does that mean? I don't understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you probably don't know how to. You don't know how to play spades. I do know how to play spades. I do know how to play you know, spades. <laughs> you know, you know how to play dominoes. <laughs> no, I don't know how to play dominoes. I know so, how to play Uno. Okay. Yeah. Not the same. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you know. No, yeah. I know how to play spades. So anyway, so that was that was an interesting thing. I've had a black man tell me one time we were very young, so I'll just chalk it up to that. But he said, do you date men of the Caucasian descent? And I said, why would you ask me this question? He said, because you like to you enunciate your words. Mm -hmm. I said, so that that means that I date white men because I enunciate my words. Right. I don't understand that. But okay. You know, and I, I, I think I use, you know, I'm, I'm more of the type of user slang t- style, like type dialect, you mm-hmm. know, so uh, people, I don't know, did y'all, I mean, y- y'all, y'all, he- obviously y'all, y'all hear the countryness, <laughs> right? Yeah. And and a- Ashley, I don't know, Ashley's country too, right? Y'all yeah. hear the countryness in her too? Yeah. 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 Okay. But yeah, sometimes they can, uh, you know, when you. Uh, pronunciate your words or not enunciate your words. <laughs> I said pronunciate. I'm coming <laughs> up with words. <laughs> exactly. It's like brother, chill. Use the words you used to. Is pronunciate a word? 
pronunciate? I don't think so. I think I pronounce and enunciate. I think okay. I put them together. Okay, maybe. Because <laughs> sometimes I come up with stuff and I I say that sounds like a word and actually it is a word sometimes. So, <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, conflictual was one of those. And words. I was like, oh, that's sounds not good. a word. Yeah, it is a word. It is a word. Oh, yeah, I heard yeah. that one. Yeah, I can I, I, I actually invented it and <laughs> it was actually a word. <laughs> no, it's, it's actually a word. So, you know, sometimes I can come up with these crazy words, but they actually be a word sometimes. So mm-hmm. it is what it is. But what you got, love? Yeah, yeah. So I guess that's the end of my story. Like, yeah, I never dated anybody outside my race, but I don't have any problem with that at all. Uh just was it was just never a time, a right time for me mm-hmm. to date. Um one, well, I'm not gonna tell that story, but anyway. Sounds like just our world of Wayne. What are you about to say? No, I was about to say one guy. I felt <laughs> what? I was about to say one guy. I, I felt like he was trying to experiment a little bit, and oh, okay. that's why I didn't date him. Or like, I, I just didn't feel like he was being genuine. Oh, yeah. What what made you feel like? I can't really remember. It was just a feeling, and mm-hmm. and I don't normally get those sort of feelings, mm-hmm. so I kind of just trusted it. Oh, okay, but he. Um, I don't know. But I was trying to explain to him some of the cultural differences. Mm-hmm. And because he, he was like, there's no difference. And I said, it's, it's, it could be very simple. Like, for instance, I was working at UPS. <laughs> and um, I said, for instance, if I said, you told Hoppo to beat me, what does that mean to you? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I have no idea. What does that mean? <laughs> I said, now, I, we are going to do an experiment right now. We're going to go to every black person in this building or a lot of black people in this building yeah. and say, you, you told, told Hoppo, Hoppo to, beat, to me. beat me and ask them, what does that mean? <laughs> and they're going to know immediately. And right. he was like, OK, let's do it. We did it. And he was just mind was blown because he was <laughs> like, why does everybody know this? Right. <laughs> why does everybody understand what I, I, how? I was like, it's just a, a movie. That like if you're our age, all black people have seen it mm-hmm. or they heard that reference before, right. and they know what what I'm talking about when I say you told Hoppo to beat me. They right. know exactly what I'm talking about. Like there's no hesitation <laughs> or anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> Something like that is like a very small example. Right. But he was his mind was just totally blown. Well, <laughs> I mean, well that's a that's a good uh, topic or whatever. But so Adam, was there any cultural? differences that like what what was a major cultural thing that that you had to like you like wow when when you was met or where you got with Maya yeah I don't know I kind of nothing <laughs> <laughs> you seem real even kill like you know what I'm saying yeah. like I think it was more uh her fam well yeah her family <laughs> didn't know I was Asian until I met him <laughs> go, go, you didn't tell them first day. So- <laughs> You didn't tell them. <laughs> what was so it like? Okay. What was that movie? Meet the meet, meet the parents. Meet, meet the, the parents. Or meet with, the f- with Bernie Mac and um, Ashton Kutcher. Have y'all seen mm-hmm. that movie? Seen yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of told them like right before he walked up and knocked on the door. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not my best hour. <laughs> I probably could have done that differently, uh-huh. you know, but. It's I, cool. Honey. I just I just wasn't sure how they would respond. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Like I know my mom is was gonna be open to it. She'd be fine. I wasn't sure about how my dad would take it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So with I princess, was like, well, let princess. me just tell them right before he comes in the door. <laughs> so you then they can't have that much of a reaction, right? Right. Oh no, <laughs> it can still be it. a reaction, but it <laughs> <laughs> But it was fine. Like yeah. they were yeah. cool with them. Um Adam's actually from like a about an hour away from where my dad grew up. So oh, there wow. actually are a lot of similarities. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 So Maya, what about, you know, was some culture differences or something major that you had to kind of adjust with Dayton or, you know, marrying Adam? You know, not a whole lot, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, Adam's kind of unique. Um, mm-hmm. He's he's Korean racially, mm-hmm. but he actually, his parents are white. He was adopted. Mm-hmm. So... A lot of the kind of traditional Asian sort of things, he didn't really come with that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like I think what the main <laughs> thing, well, I will say like the main thing I kind of got used to is I have to keep taking my shoes off every time we come inside uh, the house. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is a good thing. <laughs> yeah. I think it's awesome to learn other cultures and stuff so you can pick up some good things. And I think that's one of them because, you know, your shoes are like dirty as crap. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. So I totally get that. But uh, mm-hmm. go ahead. I'm sorry. 
So just some new things with some of the cultural food. Like he's just tried to introduce some different things to me. Mm-hmm. I don't really like a lot of the <laughs> Korean food. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I'll what? Like because I know uh, you know uh, Bill Bill Chill went to uh, he was stationed in, in Seoul. I think that's what it was. Yeah. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, he talked about the seaweed, and he talked about all the different food. He loved the food there, you know. And your sister was stationed over there as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I hear the cuisine is awesome, but I haven't <laughs> really great. had it. Yeah. yeah. So so was it, what what's some of the, some of the dishes you you don't well, too much so, care about? Well, I'll let Adam kind of fill it, because well, I can't Adam. pronounce all the words yeah. <laughs> correctly. But well, she doesn't like anything. Uh, kimchi or fermented that kind of stuff mm-hmm. yeah so like fish what what is what is what is that kimchi it's, uh, for all our listeners that yeah. don't know including me yeah <laughs> it's a uh, it's a uh, kind of like i always liken it to uh americans how they have french fries of all their meals mm-hmm. <laughs> that's terrible actually <laughs> but they eat it with every meal it's a uh, uh, fermented cabbage or cucumber okay uh, different kinds um very healthy yeah, it's I was about uh, to say it seems a lot healthier than French fries. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only similarity is that they eat it for uh, a lot of their meals. You mm-hmm. know, yeah, but uh, it's totally good for you as opposed to French fries. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so I think for me, I've probably eaten more rice in the past three years we've been together than I've eaten like ever in my life. Ever, mm-hmm. yeah. there's a lot of rice dishes in their culture. Mm-hmm. So, have you yeah. tried to learn to cook any of these? Oh. Or does he just do all? <laughs> Not yeah. really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We we do like fried rice, mm-hmm. um, a couple other Asian dishes. Not necessarily Korean, but yeah. you know, a couple kinda... like Chinese things. And mm-hmm. so I like I like a lot of the things that we cook, mm-hmm. um, but a lot of the Korean foods, specifically yeah. Korean foods, not a big fan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would say for me, kind of in across the board, it would be, uh, you know, I like Maya said, I I did grow up in um, with uh, white parents and uh, kind of a multicultural family. Mm-hmm. So I didn't grow up in a Korean household, so I didn't grow up with all the traditional values of, you know, um, the honor system and all mm-hmm. that. But I'm very familiar with it because I have been back to Korea. I have met uh, some of my family. Nice. So I think that's where we've I've picked up on uh, some aspects of my culture because, uh, you know, it, it's in my DNA. It's part of my bloodline. Mm-hmm. So I have adopted um, these uh, kind of unique traits that I didn't grow up with. Mm. But that was like at a later age around like, um, I want to say like 25, 26. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's dope to, you know, to have different, you know, just different values and different cultures, just have all that mixed in and you can kind of, create this new mm-hmm. um aura mm-hmm. that no one can't put their finger on but they're like man something about adam you know this yeah. dude is here you know you just mm-hmm. smooth <laughs> yeah smooth, <I> yeah <laughs> you, you smooth yeah. And, and, and you just you just you just you have a presence about yourself that's 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 pretty dope so yeah i, I, I like it yeah. yeah and so what were your family reactions uh from maya yeah Oh, it was just normal. Yeah, you know? normal because yeah. you had already, you yeah. know, yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's some black people in my family, uh, mm-hmm. some nephews and nieces. And yeah, so if you look, would look at our family photo, it looks like a little bit United Nations, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so you said you were worried about your father, Adam. I mean, not Adam, sorry, Maya, but you said everything was good. And did they ask you questions like, well, why didn't you tell us? Or like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they said that. <laughs> my mom did ask later on like why didn't you feel like you uh, could could come to me and say like, well, i don't know yeah my boyfriend's korean <laughs> yeah i was just like i don't know i just wasn't sure how, mm-hmm. how they would respond but mm. but as he got to know my family like my extended family everybody was very kind to adam mm-hmm. loving and welcoming because literally all of my family is black mm-hmm. nobody has married outside the race there's yeah. nobody else it's just us just right. black wow. people right, right, right. so that's how why i wasn't really sure yeah. i was like look i'm the first yeah. one kind of <laughs> bringing this guy in here <laughs> the pioneer yeah. i just yeah sure yeah, pioneer yeah right, right. but everything has been fine mm-hmm. um, that, that would be fam- a big deal for any family regardless yeah. of race right i think yeah. so yeah yeah but well, would you know what i think eventually um maybe 
majority of the world would be multicultural. Mm-hmm. You know, I think so too. Uh, yeah. So it's it's just a I I think it's a, a future, and I think it's important for us to remember not just the values of our heritage or you know white heritage or just the heritage of the earth. You mm-hmm. know, as humans, you know, race is you know it's cool and, and all that good stuff, but um, I think it's just important to to you know get some understanding of different cultures and and get that well-rounded experience because i think you'll become a a better human being to be honest oh yeah Yeah. for sure Mm -hmm. for sure well my family um we have a lot of white people in my family and so um it was um it, I guess it was just never a question for me if if I was to bring um, uh, somebody from a different race home. I just knew it would be no problem as long as, uh, you know, they're treating me right. That's that's the main thing. It's like, right. okay, is he treating you good? Fine, great. Like, right. <laughs> so, because my grandfather was like white, black, and um, Native American. Um, so so we just I just have like a lot of mixed people. And actually, I didn't even know that like anybody would have an issue with it until I got to college. And I met this black girl who was telling me that like her family would be like, no way. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. You better not bring anybody else in this house except for a black man. Right. And I was just I didn't understand that at all. Like, I well, did, you I got did. those people out there, and I and I wish we could have uh, maybe on a live discussion. Maybe we would, we would have someone that can speak to that perspective. And we talked to all of my listeners out there. Our live discussion, yeah, uh, it'll be six p.m. Pacific. Uh, it's on Facebook, eight p.m. Central and nine p.m. Eastern. So if you get a chance, check on check us out. Love Ology Podcast on Facebook. We will be live, so let's talk about that. Yeah, and 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 see see how because I'm curious, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I know we, a lot of cultures had trouble, you know, just people been done wrong, you know, mm-hmm. genocide. Some cultures just are not here anymore. You know, they just wiped out the face of the earth. So, I totally get it, but I'm just, you know, love. I think love conquers all. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> and, and we have to understand that uh, in order for us to progress as people that we have to uh love one another and mm-hmm. and and let's let's move this thing on move it move it forward yes sir yeah. that's very well said honey whatever <laughs> 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 but I, I should like be more specific about that situation because i always kind of figured especially growing up in arkansas that white people would have a problem with it yeah but it was it was honestly i was just very sheltered and it was definitely a surprise to me to hear a black person say that about um dating outside of their race because i didn't know I, I just didn't my world was not that so i didn't know that that was an issue you yeah. so. know well I, my, my my family is uh we have some different groups in our family is just <laughs> down the line somewhere mm-hmm. i know we got a little indian you know somebody said we got mongolian chinese in us i said mongolian chinese <laughs> <laughs> you know where the, did that come in you know the, the, the chuns the chuns and, and brinkley they have some the asian that's where they get their last name okay but, you know and every now and then one of the chuns will come out like really light with red hair and you mm-hmm. know so yeah i think we all have we're a mixture of right things, yeah. you know that's why i'm i'm, I'm I, I can speak different dialects that's why i can you know <laughs> <laughs> i can i can i can speak different languages pretty Pretty easily. Come on, Stas. You know. Oh, you know. my you know. <laughs> Those are literally the only two phrases he can say I got, I got in Spanish more. and in French. I got plenty French. more. Ni hao. Ni hao. I got plenty more. Ni hao. Ni hao. Shishini. Shishini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say hello in Korean. Annyeonghaseyo. <laughs> oh. Give me, give me about two minutes. I can say that too. <laughs> two minutes. Yeah. So let me ask you this: um, Y'all plan on having any children? Of yeah. course, yeah. Okay, so if you have a a, a child, a, let's say it's a daughter, what do you think she will uh, identify herself as? Mm. Black. Think so? Mm, yeah. yeah. Why? <laughs> why you feel that? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, well, my family all lives out here mm-hmm. in L.A. and. I think she's going to be influenced by that. She's going to uh, be around because mostly my right, family. Right, 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 mm-hmm. right. And then like Adam was saying, his family's like a little bit of everybody, uh, but not really yeah. Korean. Uh, yeah. So so I wouldn't have, for example, um, if we had a daughter, uh, 
she wouldn't have grandparents that are Korean, right? That kind of reinforce and some of the traditional yeah. value. Yeah, okay, yeah. makes sense. I remember at one point, uh, I think it was like the two thousands. Uh, the half black and Asians, well, it was kind of a thing, Blasians. you know. Yeah, the <laughs> Blasians. Uh, Jay Stu, my, one of my homeboys, he's uh Filipino and and black. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, I, I, mean, I think it's awesome, man. I think it's awesome. I, it sucks that racism is uh is a thing in in the. In, well, I guess that was in gonna, America. Yeah, I guess that was going to be my next question. I mean, I, I don't know the like the percentages, but of course, interracial relationships have been on the rise for sure. And so, you know, basically, first question is, have you all experienced any prejudice? And, um, you know, how do you think living in L.A. has either helped or harmed that? I would say uh, it, uh, living in L.A. has definitely helped that. Yeah. Because uh, kind of anything goes out here. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. I, I can't really speak. Um you know, I think the world has changed, you know, mm-hmm. a lot, you know, going back to where I grew up, uh, from what, what it used to be kind of like the perception of things that's even changed. Mm. I think the world's just, uh, I don't know if it's just through media that kind of helps where they have shows about mixed people together and, mm-hmm. right, you know, different races and all that. Right. Uh, so yeah, being in LA, I think we are protected somewhat. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. It's not, you know, compared to Arkansas, you know, especially or, you know, maybe even a Al- deep, deep Alabama. In Mississippi. Yeah. Remember, we met a couple um, that was a white woman and a black guy. Mm-hmm. And they it was said an older couple, wasn't it? No, it was in my school. Oh, okay. We were going to a, an event and it was a guy and they said they moved out here because they were just tired of, you know, not being able to really be together in Alabama. Right. And, right. Well, I mean, obviously he he was interested in film as well, mm-hmm. but it was an easy transition for her too because she was just wanted to be in a place where she could be with him. Right. Yeah. And, you, and not feel like you know it was a problem. Right. Yeah. Because I mean, you might still catch some bricks into your windows now. Yeah. You know, off of interracial relationships. You know, mm-hmm. in the in the deep south. Yeah. You know. So uh, some countries, you know, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, from my experiences, some countries, they don't they don't deal with racism. They don't know what that is. It's like it's your people. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, I had a, a, a classmate that was from China mm-hmm. and he said, um, to Larry. Larry, yes. Was that, that was not his real name. I understand. It's not his real name. So <laughs> t- tell Which we told him, like, Larry, I, we don't like that you guys are getting these American names. Mm-hmm. We can learn how to say your name. So his, his name is Guang Li. Guang Li. It's not that hard. Yeah. <laughs> like we we can learn how to say your name. Well, why you just call yourself Li? I don't know. That would have been cooler, huh? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> dude, you Lee. He's like, I'm Larry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and so he said that he didn't understand, but I, I think that like in other countries they don't have as we are a melting pot of different races Mm -hmm. so they haven't had to deal with it as much as we have had to deal with it Mm -hmm. and so yeah i just i don't know how many chinese people are in china but i would venture to say that it's mostly chinese and not you know not and not other races there's other races there but not to the The level yeah Mm -hmm. the extent that it is here Mm -hmm. we're just so mixed you know so many different races so yeah, we just have we have more races to deal with, and that's when it's easy to get misunderstandings because your culture is like this and our culture is not, and it's just easy to get misunderstandings. Right. Mm-hmm. So, I, I would say that we've gotten. I've noticed looks towards us, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a negative thing. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they they just look at us like they've never seen. Seen. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But so, curious. Yeah. Yeah. Here's another thing I've thought about too. Is, you know, I've seen um, black men with Asian women mm-hmm. more commonly than uh, uh, Asian men with black women. That is true. So mm-hmm. I think I no that joke. Is true. I've counted like maybe we're special. On, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we're definitely unique. No, yeah. uh, but you know, on maybe three on one hand. Yeah, you know. I've seen around LA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's not common, you know? Yeah. So definitely um, you catch people 
uh, they're they're very curious. Yeah, yeah. curious. Uh, and that goes for both uh, black people and Asian people. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and you know, it's kind of interesting. You can t- kind of see how their brain is ticking as yeah. as they're. Yeah, Looking we've had you. one lady come up to us like, "Wow, you guys are so beautiful!" Oh, <laughs> you know, because yeah. I guess she hadn't seen specifically a black woman with an Asian man, right? Mm-hmm. Maya, have you ever experienced like, um, let me say, maybe a black guy seeing you with Adam and just you know like. I can take him. I can take you from <laughs> him. You know what well, he doing with my woman? With my <laughs> right? Because sometimes you know, you know, black guys we can be a little cocky. You know what I'm saying? You probably <laughs> have you ever experienced that? I haven't noticed anything. Yeah. Specifically with that, I think you don't hear no. I hey, think Adam had told me though he saw a black guy like kind of looking at him. Like, oh yeah. Why are you with one of mine? You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, all Adam had to do is flex his pectoral muscles. <laughs> Adam is solid, man. <laughs> Jason can't get over this. Listen, He's like super impressed. Yeah, I gave Adam a hug tonight, you know, a little handshake and a hug, man. Tapped him on the back, man. Like a little rock back there. I said, all right, let me go ahead and do some push ups right here. I appreciate it, Adam. You inspired me to go and start right, working out. Yeah. Not to make you feel worse, but he hasn't been working out yeah. lately. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it is what it is. Look, I haven't been working out in years. So, yeah. I can do something. Something. My back is soft as Sarman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ash was like, I want, I want you. You know what you say? One time, I was, I started working out at one point. It was a while ago, uh-huh. and you was like, you can feel my back was a little different. Yeah, you know I can feel a little definition. You know, mm-hmm. I'm gonna come back. I'm oh. coming back, baby. Yeah, you, know, right. you miss me. <laughs> you know, I can't give her. I can't be. You know, I can't be a ten out of ten. She'll go crazy. You know, so I got. <laughs> I gotta give him my, my my C game sometimes, you know. What I'm oh saying? gosh, I I pick it up to a B now. Okay, good. Yeah, <laughs> happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, but yeah, that that um that's an interesting point. Interesting point that you brought up because, mm-hmm. like, I mean, I can only really think about celebrities when we talk about this, but definitely, uh, black women do not like to see black men like the celebrities with uh women outside of uh. <laughs> I should say all black women. I don't care. But there's been a lot of uh, issues with that. With, with seeing the black men with um, women outside of their race. The latest one that happened was Michael B. Jordan. And he was like in the club with some girl that looked like she was Hispanic maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say people was about to boycott Black Panther or something because <laughs> he don't like black women, he don't like black women, he don't like us and mm-hmm. they were just I was just like let this man live. I don't care. It doesn't Sh- matter. Shouldn't be talking all that lip. That's that's what happens. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, do Don't you? Enforce the stereotype, <laughs> Jason. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. That's what I'm just saying. Sometimes you got two it women in here. Exactly. Don't fit that stereotype. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, so, so Adam, you don't feel like Maya sometimes gives you some extra lip and neck movements. <laughs> she does. It's probably because I deserve it. <laughs> exactly. Well said. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I heard, like, I don't know. I was very fascinated with this when this mm. happened. I was like, "What is this?" Like, I didn't. It was so crazy. But um, they were saying that like it's a double standard because when black women get a, a man outside of their race Mm -hmm. then it's like you go queen you know serena (laughs) right (laughs) like serena williams serena and and i forgot her name the lady that uh married uh prince harry or whatever oh Meghan markle yeah yeah everybody's like yes you go queen but when a black man do it it's so loud (laughs) (laughs) you wouldn't talk about nothing you was too busy you know i ran into a lot of gold diggers you know in my day Mm. and unfortunately so you know a lot of them was was black. I'm gonna just let's say one thing though, but they're, because you know, they're I, I in all did, shapes, forms, and, and fashion, <laughs> so it's not just. I don't want to go too deep with it, but I did hear like I was watching TV or something, and there was this black woman that was saying that because the beauty standard mm-hmm. is European, Europeanized or whatever, mm-hmm. Eurocentric. Mm-hmm. Um, she was like, basically, who's going to love me? Mm-hmm. Because you all have forced this beauty standard of like white light skin or just, you know, the lighter you are, the more beautiful you are. And so for her, that's why she would get so upset because you taken the one man that will 
love me for me and and feel like I am beautiful. Who said this? It was a girl on TV. I be watching all sorts of stuff. I think something wrong with her. I know. She probably has some self esteem issues. And why? But why does she have self esteem issues? Because of what people say is beautiful. Okay. And and but 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 at the same time, I I'm. I hear the same stuff about me as a black man. I don't think so. Yeah, do you think I mean, I do. I, How are you going to tell me what I don't hear? Because. I'm broke. I'm lazy. Like he just I hear said. Stuff, like he, but, like but, Adam just said, mm-hmm. he's seen a lot more black men with Asian women. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So typically, like, I don't know. All races still flock to black men. And I And I believe all races flock to black women, too. But I'm just telling you that's what. It, now we're getting to a place where it is, oh, we knew, you know, we know what happened. Mm-hmm. People were pushing this standard of beauty and that is not correct. You yeah. know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie. When I was, when I was a kid and uh, grandma, we didn't have, uh, we, we, we didn't have the expensive no. cable. <laughs> so, I was gonna say, please don't say something crazy. I am going to say something oh, crazy. Lord. So every now and then, it's like once a year that Cinemax would come on. You know, you can, <laughs> you can watch Cinemax for a weekend. Yeah, and and all the naked girls, were, you know, the white girls, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> they had the black girls. <laughs> so because we weren't going to do that. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. No ma'am, no sir. <laughs> it was it was soft though. You know, you know, Cinemax ain't doing much. You know, <laughs> so you know, I I can see where they did push that, you know, out there on us. Uh, mm-hmm. But still, um, I'm I'm I, I mean, it doesn't matter. Me like I, I'm what I've married a a white woman or Puerto Rican or Asian. Maybe it's all about love. Who who's gonna treat me right? Who who can I, who's going to truly have my back? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm just blessed that, you know, I was with somebody that I grew up with. I didn't have to worry about, can I trust her? Can I, you know, whether you was black, white, Asian, occasion, you know, I feel like, <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Look, shout out, shout out to David Roby. I ain't going to take it. I ain't going to take it. So, but uh, it was just, I knew Ashley. I didn't have to worry about her background. I didn't have to worry about where she came from. Uh, I just, it was just, it was, a, it was, it was just, it was, easy. it was just, it was just there. It was just easy. Mm-hmm. It just seemed like it was just, that's just how it was meant to be that way. Mm-hmm. So she just happened to be black. So it's just, I, I will, I will love anybody that loves me back. Oh. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> that, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people can concur to that. Yeah, yeah for sure. Mm-hmm. So back to Adam and uh, Maya. <laughs> <laughs> we totally digress. I mean, it's all part of the That's topic, part. but um, so I mean, I guess this you bringing me into my next point of like what were your similarities or what drew you to each other? Because I think most people only think about the differences. Mm-hmm. Sure. So you know what what drew you to each other? Well. <laughs> I would say that our personalities, they, they just work really well together. We're, we have some, uh, you know, just common things like our organization or just our uh, you know, mindset, the way we think about things, mm-hmm. uh, respect for one another, for the things we don't. Uh, we have a little bit differing views. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So we, we kind of have like a broader uh, understanding, I would say, mm-hmm. like just different things in life you know? nice. but yeah it's great it's uh you know it's like i uh, totally agree with you it's uh, y- you and um, ashley came together and she, th- that was meant to be right right mm-hmm. just so having that she was black that's how right. i totally feel about maya I, I i don't think about um if i'm kidding kind of getting off here but oh, you're good. <laughs> but uh i don't think about the skin color or race but right. i actually uh that's not the reason why um i got with her and i'm attracted to her uh, but that being said, I'm totally respectful uh, of her background, and I'm wanting to learn more and wanting to absorb the things that I don't know. Right? Mm-hmm. Total out, out of total respect of uh, the black race and black Americans, where they came from, how they got here, mm-hmm. all these different aspects. Right? Right. So that's probably another thing we're uh, very we have in tune with one another is just our respect for it and love for one another, for our backgrounds, where we came from. It's kind of scattered, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, that's just probably 
Can you add to that, honey? No, I think you said most of it. <laughs> <laughs> the only other thing I kind of thought about was just to piggyback on what you said. Um, one thing I really appreciate about Adam is, you know, since we are from different races, he he's made a point to just kind of learn a little bit more about, you know, black people and our culture. Right. Um, last year he went to his first Kwanzaa party. Okay. Mm. I don't That's think awesome. I've been to a Kwanzaa party. <laughs> yeah, <that's> great. <laughs> I have not gone to a Kwanzaa party yet. Yeah. Well, you guys have to come with us. We might have, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Bring the kids, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, he, you know, Adam has this understanding, you know, if we do have kids, we plan to, his children are most likely going to be viewed as black, mm -hmm. right? And so he's made a point to just kind of learn a little bit more just about our culture, history. Mm -hmm. You know, we do our little little history lessons. We watch in different movies and do different things. Did he know what the movie I was talking about? Uh, he no, he <laughs> so told the line Hoppo that Ashley said earlier. Or you, you, you told Hoppo to beat from? me. You know uh, what movie? Do okay. you know that movie? <laughs> do you know what movie that's from, dude? Uh, n no. no. We, we haven't we, watched we, that we one got, yet. Okay. So <laughs> it's from The Color Purple. <laughs> I've never seen it. Yeah. So we've started we're watching starting with some more research, movies. Yeah. You know, we've watched <laughs> Selma. Mm -hmm. We've watched a few mm -hmm. Eyes on the Prize documentaries. Yeah. So yeah. We, haven't, we haven't hit the color purple. You know, color it's purple is long. Yeah, color it's purple long. is a hard one to watch, too. So, one. you know, yeah, it's yeah. hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, yeah, that's cool for sure. So, you know, we talked about some uh, cultural things that Adam um, – uh, has he checked out from the black culture? Well, Adam, whether it's the Asian culture or the Caucasian culture, what are some things that, um, you know, Maya, you know, should pick up or, you know, like she should watch? Like, what's that movie? Because I remember it was one movie. Remember that job I applied for? Yes. And you had to know this <laughs> oh my gosh. movie thing. I wish I could remember. The, the, you know, on the application, there was a question. And it was, and we just can't remember the name of the it's question. A, it's a famous movie in in Caucasian world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not be a, most movies. <laughs> no, so it's like, like a Princess movie. Bride or something like that. No, it was like a. <laughs> it was. Uh, I think it was kind of like a princess. You never even heard of that movie, no. Princess Bride. I know what I'm you're sorry. talking about, yeah. and. <laughs> It was kind of like that. It was a medieval sort of times thing. type movie. Yeah, though. but it was like a, a satire. Oh, Because okay. isn't the princess by like a satire? No, um, not maybe? really. Never it's just seen kinda, it. The the funny. laden swallow or something. Which way do the laden swallow flies or something? One flew over the cuckoo's nest. No, <laughs> it was it was it was it was we a question really. in the in the movie. And I was like, why would they put this in a job application? Because mm, I don't know a black person that would know the <clears throat> answer to this question at all. Because yep. <laughs> yeah. we had to yeah. like Google it. And and then what you say, your friend asked one of his coworkers who was white and he knew immediately. Knew exactly it might be Princess what it was. Bride. It might be that. It was. It was. It, <laughs> it was, might be that movie. No, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't when they move out. If you say it, I know it. It was. It was. A, it was just about uh, these uh, these people on horseback. Like, but back in medieval times, because they had like their metal, you know, stuff on. He like, yeah, Princess Bride. Yeah, he's gonna oh, say really? that or Black Knight. That's my favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't remember what it was. But uh, if I if I find it, I I definitely say it. But uh, but is there any films or any uh things that that um uh, you want to share with Maya? Like, yo, Maya, you gotta know this. You know, anything like that? Yeah, I mean. You were I can't. trying to get me to watch some kind of Asian kung fu something. Remember? Man, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I know we've talked about you know possibly. Well, I would like to go back to Korea and take a trip to Korea. And I know, uh, I think going back to or going to South Africa or something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. like we kind of those things like we talk about. Just, just that'd be nice. Kinda, I want to go to South Korea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I think she would. It, it, she could kind of see where I came from, yeah. and uh, just some of my, I don't know, some of my little mannerisms, or mm -hmm. just like, there's so much of me that's a little bit uh, taken from different things, I guess, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we just have, I think we've just talked about a great kind of curiosity of um, respecting Fountain. Fountain movie. What's the name? What's of it, it called? It's called 
Monty, Monty Python and the Holy yeah. Grail. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know saying. that one. <laughs> Never yeah. heard of this movie. Did, did you get the question that that was asked? I no, I don't humor. know the question, but it was about uh, some some bird flying or something. But <laughs> if you watch the movie, you totally know what they're talking about, and it's a trick question. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that was in a job application. <laughs> wow. So if I didn't answer it right. So I literally watched this movie <laughs> just to get the answers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's in the black culture. We n- never heard of this. Sure. You know, let me repeat it. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. This is like a famous. It's kind of like Friday for the black people. Oh, okay. Right. This is a famous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bye, Felicia. <laughs> exactly. So, but that's 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 some things that makes you. A well-rounded human if you can pick up those things from different cultures you know what i'm saying you can be able to connect that bridge right mm. and that's important especially in my field of sales right sure. because i'm talking to different races different cultures all the time so if i if i have that one little thing that i can connect with them then that 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 helps you know what i'm saying and i can also bridge that gap to the people that i'm that I'm familiar with or people that I know. So I think that's awesome. So continue to try to dig up those things to help Adam and Adam continue to dig those things to, to show yeah. Maya and please sh- share it with us too. Cause that helps, you know, and I think it helps us be uh, come together and be, yeah. cl- but you know, better people. I, I think we've definitely seen more. Uh, it's so funny. It's because uh, Maya and me, we see other groups of people kind of in general we kind of feel like we're right in the center of like this big old intersection. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. Uh, I think of that one intersection in uh, Tokyo with uh, like everyone just got crosses when the lights turn green and they're yeah. all the, right, <laughs> yeah. from all directions. So that, I don't know. We kind of feel like we're in the middle. Uh, so yeah, it's like, we definitely want to encourage uh, you know, people to, what am I trying to say? Get to know and respect other people right it's mm-hmm. uh we see more people staying within their groups than coming together and meeting right other people mm-hmm. right like we see i see that all the time you know i see the asian people staying with themselves i see uh you know the black people staying with themselves i'm you know i understand that mm-hmm. uh I, the white people of course you know? right right <laughs> so the yeah. question was okay on, on the show on the on the on the i'm sorry i had to i had to get it <laughs> So the the question (laughs) on the application, it asked me, what is the average airspeed velocity of a laden swallow? (laughs) Exactly. In the world. Exactly. You just showed it to me. And I was like, it was like a tech job, which was, it wasn't, it worked, it was like a tech company. And if you didn't, so so I literally had to (laughs) put that, Mm -hmm. put that question in Google. Yeah. And I found out, oh, it comes from this movie that I never heard of. Mm-hmm. And so I watched the movie, and I, I can't remember the answer now. But <laughs> yeah, but, but it's, it's like a trick question. It's like depending on which way the wind blows, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a trip. But those things can get you a, a leg up in in society, in the world, you know, just you know, just knowing those little things like that. Right. Do you all have any advice for – other interracial couples you all have been blessed and lucky enough to like come from supportive families and um i don't know you know is there anything that that you would say to them that could help them possibly if they're going through a difficult time maybe (laughs) i guess they didn't go through difficult. i know but they still may have something to share i don't know is there anything um I mean, I guess like the major thing that you're saying is, is that you just, you know, it's, you just fell in love with this person and, and just. Her skin is just darker than mine. <laughs> yeah. It just happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your skin is lighter than mine. Huh? <laughs> hey, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> We're about the same complexion, I think. I don't know. Yeah. But maybe. whatever. Well, I would just encourage people just to be open. Because mm-hmm. if you would have asked me maybe like 10 years ago, oh, Maya, like, would you date somebody that wasn't black and be like no (laughs) (laughs) you know i was i wasn't really open to it right so just going through life and just different experiences and it helped me just kind of be a little more open-minded just you know Mm -hmm. whoever it is that god has for me be accepting of whatever 
whoever they are and be open. So yeah, I think that's great advice. Is it, you know what? And, and, <laughs> and, and I, I great heard advice. Some, I had I have a uh, I, I knew some or I know somebody that you know they was kind of closed initially, mm-hmm. but uh, and and I'm asking this question, but going through life, they've been. You know, it's relationships is in our relationships is tough. Mm-hmm. You know, heartbreak is 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 rough. You know, so a lot of times they say, you know what, I got to do something different. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. I'm, I got to do something different. Let me, I'm gonna get me. A, you know, I'm dating a white girl. Or I'm dating well, Asian. Or I don't whatever. think that's like. I, I'm I'm <laughs> saying I have a I have a friend that is like that. Mm-hmm. Right. That's mm-hmm. why they opened up. So okay. so I'm just kind of asking that. Is that is was that because of past relationships, no, or is just just no, you just it's matured, just a, just a maturing and mm-hmm. an evolving, right? Um, just being from LA, living here, I've always been around all kinds of people, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I think for me, I went to a black college and shout so, out to Howard, <laughs> shout out HBCU. You know, I went to H-U, U, you know, I went to UAPB, the Golden Lions. You I, know. I did not go to a so we only talk black about, college. We only talking about HBCUs right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I think it was harder for me to be open because I had grown up a certain way. You know, um, like I mentioned before, my family's all black. Mm-hmm. So yeah, being from LA, I grew up with all kinds of people. But then I decided I wanted to go to HBCU for college. Mm-hmm. And so having that experience, just being around my people, I honestly thought, you know, I was going to meet somebody there right. and marry somebody black. So it's definitely a unique experience yeah. going to HBCU. I remember we, I drove to Howard to go to their homecoming because it was a big thing. Homecoming <laughs> yeah. to Howard. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and that was that was some of my height, you know. I was I was up there, you know, with with my skills of you know pulling the girls <laughs> at that time. I yeah. think you kind of cut Maya off. I I'm think just she saying, was saying. I'm just something. saying. I'm just I'm just giving a shout and out to, to Howard. That's all. About I'm giving a shout out to Howard. I'm sorry, Maya. Go ahead. <laughs> no, but just to wrap up, um, yeah, just not staying in that box. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm just encourage people just to be open because you just never know. Um, mm-hmm. Adam is not like what I probably would have picked out in a crowd. He's a little older than me. He's a different race, you know. So mm-hmm. I just encourage people just be open and see what God has for you. Right. Absolutely. I remember, I'm, I'm, we're going to talk to Adam <laughs> next, but it's just, yeah, I just think of stuff and I got to tell you, I remember dating this girl, right? She was black, but she she grew up, her first language was French and she, uh, she, uh, she, she thinks she grew up overseas somewhere. Right. Mm-hmm. And I took her to uh, a HBCU football game one time. <laughs> and it was so funny. She was like, why is everybody looking so mad? Their fists are clutched. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> I said, that's, that's called crunk. You know, they're excited. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> So it's, it's funny, even though she was black, but it's still cultural differences. So skin a lot of times it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's it's all about that person. It's all about, it's, are you compatible on the inside? That's that's what really counts. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah and someone who's going to love you for who you are. For sure. you don't feel like you have to change. Mm-hmm. You know, I can do my black English vernacular at home and yeah, yeah. whatever, <laughs> I slang, I cook my peach cobbler, I do whatever I want to do. Don't bring you some know, of the peach cobbler myself. over here. Oh, I will. Sure. <laughs> Next time, for sure. <laughs> Adam, have you ever been to an HBCU game, football yeah, game, yeah. anything? Try it out. It's 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 it. it's de- it's definitely <laughs> different. The bands, all that, you yeah. know, definitely different. Yeah. yeah, I think it's awesome. I didn't graduate from HBCU. I partied out. Sorry. Then I went to the military, but then I graduated. Then I graduated from the University of Memphis. But uh, HBCU is definitely an awesome experience. Yeah. Do you have any advice, Adam? Yeah, advice. That's mm-hmm. what we said. Wow, I don't know. Uh, if you love each other, just continue loving each other and don't be influenced by anybody else. <laughs> yeah, Adam, that's it doesn't it. seem that's like, it. you know, um, it just seemed like just race and all this just, that's not really a, you're kind of blind to it. Am I am I mm-hmm. correct yeah. on that? Yeah. Especially, you know, you, you say you lived in South Africa or you dated a girl from South Africa? I uh, dated. Yeah. yeah, I I I've I've seen a lot of different people from from South Africa, and it's like 
it's like races from from my it's like you just see it black dating whites whites dating all different it's just it's just it's not even a thing you know yeah, it just depends because I think they had some issues. What well, they and, did, you know, yeah, Nelson some, Mandela. Some major issues, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, my my sister mm-hmm. dated a. Um, That's right. That, yeah, she dated a from guy South from Africa. South Africa, and he, his family had adopted black children, and so he like those was literally his brothers and stuff. And he, when he moved to America, he just did. He was angry, like he just didn't understand it. It's like I. You know, I have black brothers and sisters, and obviously he dated my sister, so he didn't have a problem with it. But he right. would, he would definitely get very upset, and he felt like a fish out of water sometimes for mm. sure. But so, he had no issues with your family. Your family is like no, super because open. He, oh yeah. yeah, like it's not it's not a yeah, it's, it's just a, a big thing. Yeah, it's yeah. like whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, so so yeah. But I I think that's all I have then. I feel like I'm missing a question. Did well, we already talked about that. Adam was kind of you were already open, so as I was going to ask, did you envision like who did you envision for yourself, you know, cuz she was saying basically she would have never picked you out of <laughs> <laughs> as a person that she would be ended up with, but you had already dated, you know, women of different races and stuff. So Yeah, yeah I don't know. I mean, I I didn't I didn't if it was like uh, 10 to 15 years ago, I, uh, my answer would be completely different. It possibly might even be a Korean woman. Yeah. You know? Um, so I don't know. As, I, as I've gotten older, it turned less about uh, race, mm-hmm. you know, anything like that. Mm-hmm. It's just more about, you know, getting older and seeing who's going to love you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> for you. For, for you. me. And right. Kind of put up with my <laughs> things with your atomness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So. so, so how are the two of you different? Did we already talk about that? We talked so. about how you guys are the same. Because I kind of wanted to harp on that. I think people just <coughs> automatically assume that you people just think of the differences. And uh, but I'm I'm curious mm-hmm. to know because I mean, me and Jason are very different. So. Oh but, yeah, <laughs> super different. But how are you all different? I'm trying to think. You both seem you do seem a lot alike. Like you both are chill. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> I remember we, we when we first started dating, Maya sent me this personality test. Right? Mm. I think and it's a good oh, thing. Oh yeah, yeah. We took a personality test. Sixteen personalities. <laughs> and we we got the exact. We're uh, the same personality. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I took it two or three more times just to see if I made. Uh, answered some questions wrong by mistake right, <laughs> right, 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 right. and it came out the same way so oh yeah because wow. i yeah. was surprised i was like because i'm more of like i like to go out mm-hmm. and adam's a little bit more of a homebody i'd say that's probably one of our our differences mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. as we've been together for about three years now since he's more of a homebody i've I've gotten used to kind of being at home a little bit more, uh-huh. you know, spending time with him. Because I think I was just more busy when I was single, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Homebody is cool, man. I ain't going <laughs> to lie. Like, I'm I'm both. Like, I, and I have times where I'm out and about. And then I have times where I'm just, man, look, we're not going anywhere. It could be like a whole month. We mm-hmm. just chilling and having a great time, you know? <laughs> it's mm-hmm. like awesome. Then... There's other times where I'm like trying to get out in the streets. Hey, let's let's go to Vegas. Let's go here. Let's go there. Let's go to Hawaii. You know, so I'm definitely both. We're supposed to be in Japan right now, but no, uh, I can't do it. We've been traveling too much this year. Well, it was because our our son. Our son we didn't want to get him you. double shots. They was trying. They were saying that hey, if he if he leaves the country, which he already has his passport, if he leaves if he leaves the country, we have to give him his measles shots. And then once he turned one years old, he got to get his measles shots again. It was like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you 2020, uh, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I think another thing that's different about Adam that does kind of relate a little bit more to his culture, um, he's very much a perfectionist. Mm-hmm. And I think that's something that's a little more prevalent in mm-hmm. Asian culture where mm-hmm. they just kind of want it want to do everything perfect Mm -hmm. and i thought i was a perfectionist until i met adam (laughs) like oh i'm lazy compared to you suck at everything (laughs) 
<laughs> you know, he cares a lot more about yeah. giving everything right mm-hmm. and just doing well in his job and just anything that he's doing he has to be a certain way has to be perfect mm-hmm. yeah well you know what i found out uh when doing starting this podcast that koreans actually listen to podcasts more than any other country in the world like <laughs> by far it's like mm. 70 percentile compared to the next level is like 20 percent. so koreans listen to a, a lot of podcasts i actually started to try to market to the koreans initially but uh we got a few followers yeah they still they they like our photos yeah. so. <laughs> you know, you know the, yeah. the k-pop and stuff like that mm-hmm. you know <laughs> yeah, so. the k-pop taking over <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, nah, yeah. that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. So, mm-hmm. so that's, that's I didn't I didn't know about that at first, but now I know, mm-hmm. and now y'all know. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I think that's it then. I don't have any. I'm just I don't know. I, like I said, I guess you guys just didn't have any real issues with it. So, um, right. yeah, I, hopefully a person that like don't believe in interracial relationships, maybe they can listen to this and just like really understand that it's all about the person and mm-hmm. and you know. It's all good, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, just, just, just. It, it, it's just like I didn't know I was gonna marry Ashley, mm-hmm. so it's just like saying like I didn't know I was gonna marry a black woman or Asian woman or or whatever a Puerto Rican. I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's just whatever. That, that's what life leads you to, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if you know, just love who who loves you. At the end of the day, love who loves you. And it's gonna be trials and tribulations if you're the same race or not. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. Very true. You know what I'm saying? True, true. So I, just yeah, do you. <laughs> do y'all. Do yeah. you and enjoy yourself. And if you're having that much trouble, come on out to LA. It'll, <laughs> it'll, it'll ease your pain a little bit. Yeah, it'll be better. <laughs> but, then, but then it'll the cost of living gonna bust your head. So yeah. <laughs> make sure you have some money. Anything <laughs> else to add before we wrap up? No, nope. y'all said everything. Great. All righty. Well, that's our show. Thanks again, Adam and Maya, for y'all coming oh, yeah. and and blessing us with your your uh, experience your experiences and uh, letting us get in y'all business a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> sharing it with the world. And uh, just anytime y'all want to come back on the show, let us know. It'll be awesome. Mm-hmm. Babe, you got anything else? Rate and review. Make sure you rate the and podcast. review. Yeah. yeah. Rate <laughs> and review. Facebook. We on in, we on Instagram. We're posting daily now. Mm-hmm. So make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh you can you can listen to the podcast. Share this. We're on iHeartRadio, Podbean. We're on YouTube. We own everything. Wherever so just you get listen to your podcast, go to we are love. There. Go to loveologypodcast.com. We have some merchandise. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> if y'all didn't know, um, since we hit four thousand unique downloads on Wednesdays, you will have a chance to win one hundred dollars if you answer the questions right, and you get the questions from the podcast. So you have to listen to the podcast to get the questions right. And uh, you have to be present on the live to get a chance to win $100 on the spin the wheel. So with that being said, we're going to let y'all go. Catch y'all next week. Peace out. Bye. You've been listening to the Loveology Podcast. Did you have fun with us today? Tell a friend about our show. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep the conversation going. Be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. Visit us at loveologypodcast.com. Thanks for listening. Until next time, loveologists.